So this is the new Honda Civic eHEV, or as we all know it, the Civic Hybrid. This now completes the latest Civic FE range right here in Malaysia, and it's priced at 166,500 ringgit. So how is this different to the regular Civic Turbo? Let's find out. So just to give you an idea where this Civic sits in the range, the Civic 1.5 litre VTEC Turbo, which ironically is now the base engine, that starts from 130,000 going all the way up to 151,000 ringgit. This year sits above all that as the new range topper, 167,000 ringgit. Moving on to looks, this, just like the previous range topper, is also decked out in full RS trim. But here it gets even more chrome bits to give it a classier look overall. The Civic Turbo RS basically gets the full murdered out look. There's not a hint of chrome on it. Everything is fully blacked out, right down to the wheels, the door handles, the window line. Everything is just black. Here it gets more chrome all around the car to give it a more premium look overall. Now let's talk about the specifics. As is typical of Honda hybrid models, the logo now has a blue outline around it. And specific to this Civic Hybrid, you've got this extra chrome line on the front grille. And if you look really close, down the center, the headlights, you've also got an extra U-chrome rings. Now, these are likely not going to be visible unless you park the car side by side. But once you've noticed them, I think they really stand out. Down the side, you've got this beautiful, exquisitely shaped dual-tone alloys in the same size as the Turbo RS at 18 inches compared to the sportier matte black design in the turbo this to me looks far more beautiful but i guess that's up to your own preferences the tires are exactly the same michelin pilot sport fours moving further down the theme just continues on you've got more chrome at the top of the window line as well as the door handles especially on darker colors such as this red and the pearl black the chrome bits really pop out i think they look great at the back is nearly identical to the Turbo RS, right down to the fully blacked out boot lid. Spoiler, specific to this hybrid is of course the blue logo again, as well as the EHEV badge. Down the bottom, you get a single tailpipe instead of the dual pipes you get on the Turbo. That last part is a bit of a downgrade in my eyes, but I guess you can't have everything in life, can we? Now inside it looks pretty much the same as the Turbo RS, everything here is dark, black, moody and sporty. You do get a few contrast highlights such as this red stitching on the steering wheel, the seats plus what I really like are the silver bits around the aircon vents and the controls. Additions to the more expensive hybrid version includes this fully digital instrument cluster. This is now much wider than before and it looks much better than the half digital screens in the Civic Turbo versions. Other than that, you get upgraded from a single to a dual zone climate control system. And at the bottom, there is now a Qi wireless charger for your smartphone. This to me is very, very important because as the car already comes with wireless CarPlay as standard, without a wireless charger, you still have to plug in your phone to charge, missing the whole point. With this, you now get a proper wireless experience. One last thing is this, we finally get the smart key card for the latest Civic. This is about the thickness of two credit cards, meaning you can just slot it inside your wallet and then never have to worry about bringing your car keys ever again. Plus, it helps that it looks really cool, doesn't it? At the back here, it's exactly the same as your standard Civic. There's a lot of legroom. As you can see, I'm 167 centimeters tall and there's plenty of legroom left. Although headroom can be a little bit limited for especially tall passengers. Other than that, the seats are very nicely shaped and the angle is very good as well. You've also got your own dedicated rear aircon vents, which is always useful in our climate. But I do have to point out that especially with this being fully blacked out with no sunroof, it can feel a little bit too dark, a little bit claustrophobic sitting in the back here for longer distances. The one thing that is unique to the Civic EHEV is the cooling vents for the hybrid battery which is mounted just under the rear seats over here. 
As for the boot, unlike in most other hybrid models, you get the exact same amount of space as the standard car, just under 500 litres. That is still super spacious for a car this class. Plus, you still get a spare tyre here under the boot floor, which is an upgrade over the tyre repair kits in previous Honda hybrids. Now on to the engine under the hood, or should I say powertrain now. This gets Honda's latest 2.0-litre IMMD hybrid package, which is far more powerful than the 1.5-litre versions in city and HRV hybrids. Honda claims the electric motor here puts out 184 PS and 315 Newton meters of torque. That torque figure is 31% higher than the Civic turbo which is a big gain. 0 to 100 times dips just under 8 seconds at 7.9 which makes it the fastest Civic you can buy here in Malaysia bar of course the upcoming Type R. Just as important is the fuel economy figure. Honda Malaysia claims this can average as low as 4 litres per 100 kilometres compared to 6.3 litres per 100 in the Civic Turbo RS. That is a massive gain right there. So more speed, less fuel, it's a win-win in both aspects. Another crucial detail is the transmission. Honda claims that this eCVT gearbox is smoother and more responsive than a DCT gearbox as well as quieter compared to a CVT. Again, a win in all directions. Other than that, Honda Malaysia also claims that this has a much lower centre of gravity compared to the rest of the Civic range, giving it even better dynamics and comfort. And lastly, safety. As to be expected with Honda Malaysia, this car is fully decked out with all safety kit. You've got six airbags and of course the full Honda Safety Active Safety Suite. With that, you've got AEB or Autonomous Emergency Braking. You've got Adaptive Cruise Control with Level 2 Semi-Autonomous Driving including Active Lane Keep Assist, Honda Lane Watch and brand new for the Civic Hybrid, the Lead Car Departure Notification. This is basically a similar system as what we've gotten in latest Prodoa models. It will give you a small warning just in case the car in front of you has moved off and you haven't reacted yet. Like, you know, if you're playing on your phone while you're driving, which obviously you shouldn't, but the car now has an active system to help you in that situation. So that's the Honda Civic EHEV hybrid that we have here in Malaysia. Yes, it's a fair bit more expensive than a Civic Turbo, but it looks better, it's far better equipped, it's even faster and even has better driving dynamics. Is all that enough to justify the 16,000 ringgit premium over Civic Turbo? Let me know in the comment section below. For now, thank you for watching and stay safe everyone.